Welcome to 21 Questions with JM. What's up, Pete? So, we'll start with some easy ones. What's your favorite color? Black. What's your favorite track? Mm, as of this year, Monaco. How many languages do you speak and what are they? I speak three and a quarter languages. So wait, just so you guys know, so this is a different scene for you. We're on a rowboat, me and Frankie. Very romantic. And I've never rowed a boat before, so Frankie's gonna be guiding me while we do this. So I speak, um, Spanish is my first language and English. Uh, I speak fluent Italian and I can defend myself in, in French. Do you have any hobbies outside of racing? Yes, I like to golf and I like cooking. What's your favorite thing to cook? I think my favorite quick dish is pasta carbonara. Pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Yes, I actually just had a pineapple on a pizza last night. Where did you start your racing career? I started in Ecuador, Quito, Ecuador. Yeah, we're going, we're getting pushed by the wind. Yeah, come forward. No, 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 roll forward. No, I can't, it's Why? harder. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'm comfy like this. Okay. I think this is meant to, you roll from there. You're not ro meant to roll from my position. Okay, cool. So where did you start racing? So I started in, in Quito, Ecuador. What got you into racing? Uh, my dad. My dad, he was a big uh, F1 fan. He used to race a little bit of rally and uh, he met some people in the racing community in Ecuador and uh, he got me in a go-kart when I was seven years old. If you weren't a racing driver, what would you be? Probably a businessman. I would have studied maybe business, major in business with a minor in law. I, am, I like that. And uh, I would probably work at a company, maybe work with my family or be doing my own thing, but something with business. Name a track you haven't raced in that you would want to drive. Suzuka, Japan, sick track. Who's your best friend on the F2 grid, except your teammate? Except Richie? Probably either Clem or, or Freddy, Frederick. Do you have any specific pre-race routine? I wake up. I eat some of the shitty hotel breakfast we get. I get to the track, I drink an espresso, I take a shit, and then I debrief, pre-brief my race, warm up and off I go. That's kind of, that has become a bit of my, of my uh, routine. And I'm not saying the shit to be funny. It's actually part of my routine. If I don't take a shit before the race, I, I don't feel really good. Favorite car to drive, oh, non-race car. <laughs> Watch out what? Camera. Favorite car to drive non-race car? Well, the, the craziest car I've driven that I enjoyed the most was the Bugatti Chiron. As a, as a street uh, car, that was incredible, super cool. But uh, my daily is a Mercedes GLC, which is a pretty, pretty nice car, pretty nice to drive. If you were an F1 and can choose what team to be in and teammate, what would it be? I would probably really like to go Mercedes against uh, Lewis. I think... Uh, Mercedes One against Lewis or with Lewis? With Lewis, I mean, you know, as my teammate. Yeah, so yeah. with and against. Because yeah. uh, one, I would like to see how I compare to him. I would like to learn from him. And I don't know, Mercedes is a, a pretty cool team. Pretty good environment, I think, and cool people. So, yeah. What is the top speed you've hit in any of your race cars? <sighs> That's probably like Formula 2, Baku, 330 kilometers an hour, 325. What is your go-to karaoke song? Uh, hmm, good question. What did I put that day we did karaoke in, uh, in WEC, in uh, Le Mans? Put a couple songs. Taylor Swift? Maybe like uh, Phil Collins, In the Air Tonight. But that's a tough one. But I, like, I love that song. What's your favorite Taylor Swift song? To be honest, I don't know any Taylor Swift songs. Um, What? Felix, give, give me one, give me one. Baby, what's my favorite Taylor Swift song? Trouble. Oh, I do like that one. Which one? Trouble. Trouble? I knew you were trouble when you walked in. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a good one. Thanks. Can we see more of Frankie in the vlogs? We should show more of Frankie. Actually, 
Uh, uh, you cannot turn that around. Camera, well, okay. we're gonna we're gonna show some outside footage of me and Frankie in this boat All that right, was, yeah. was taken by the girls. We will. Do you have any tattoos? Can you show us? Uh, yeah. So I have one in my hand. I got one here, uh, and then the other two I have. Yeah, they're 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 in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> so no, you cannot see those. <laughs> How does it feel to be an absolute backbone? You know what? It feels great, but I don't know what a backbone is. <laughs> like one keeps saying that to me. I still haven't figured it out. What what is a backbone? Is it like uh, just someone that brings it all together? Because I, I am that. I am a backbone if that's the case. But I hope it's not like a, a weird sexual term or something. Will there be any other screaming meals episodes with you? Uh, probably at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure, maybe soon. Would you want to make your own podcast? We've thought about it with Frank. We've had a few good ideas. I actually have, I have a great idea for a podcast. I think this is an opening to something. 21 questions with Jay. 21 questions, yeah, but that's not really a podcast, is it? I mean, like, we've thought about getting guests on like a race car with me and like me asking them questions or doing like a proper podcast, but making it a bit different, you know? Maybe at some point, never say never. I think at the moment I don't have the time to really do a proper podcast. So you'll have to, oh, I'm stuck. You will have to uh, just be happy with 21 questions with JM for now. What's your golf handicap? Oh, right now I am between uh, 25 to 30, I would say. On a good day, I can probably hit, shoot 25. And final question. When are you dropping new merch? I regret not buying the first drop. Uh, I think we are working on a very cool collab for the end of the year. We are working on a on a on a collab. Just it will be cool. So save save your money. And for people that bought the first uh, the first drop, thank you. But uh, start saving because this one's gonna be incredible. And that's it. That's it. Thank you for joining Twenty One Questions with JM. Um, if you liked it, let us know. Give us ideas of what you want to see next. Jeez, I feel like a YouTuber now. Like and subscribe. Yeah.